We earn money, save money and buy things. Living beyond the economic cycle is impossible. What trends are dictated by world markets and how does it affect consumers? Watch it in People and Economy. In this program you will know why do children need preschool education? When should we not save our money on school uniform? And how do innovations change the modern education? Children associate the beginning of the school year with new copybooks and knowledge, while parents with considerable financial expenses. In the meantime, for businessmen, this period is a nice chance to earn money. And while manufacturers are actively preparing for the peak season, mothers and fathers calculate how much they will have to pay to send their children to school. All the parents are concerned about how much money they need to prepare their child for school. In this case, we should understand that there are several categories of children. Some of them are going to school for the first time. This is a primary school category. There are children who go to secondary school and there are teenagers who choose school supplies themselves. This year, almost 2.5 million children will go to school. However, parents of first-year school children will incur highest costs. Besides standard school materials, they need to prepare their children for school in particular to teach them reading, counting, writing and many other things. Sultanat Omir Beck dedicated all her life to working with children and made a career from a nursery school teacher to a university professor. However, two years ago she resigned from the university and with a group of teachers opened a preschool game center. She has established it to help future children to meet high school requirements and standards. Experience has shown that children should be prepared for school and have developed cognitive abilities memory, attention, thinking, speech and personal motivation. Children should have a desire to learn and should have an interest in studying. This is the basis and a very important factor. If a child lacks it, he or she will not be interested in studying. At this school, children are studying while playing. Moreover, they are taught not only writing or grammar, Professionals develop in children fine motor skills, make with them exercises on attention concentrating, as well as form their personal qualities, which in the future will facilitate their socialization. A child should know his or her role and be capable of communicating with other children and adults. These three components are very important and should be developed in children. According to foreign specialists, 40 to 45 percent of first-grade pupils with underdeveloped cognitive processes, such as insufficient orientation, visual perception and movements, in future have difficulties in developing their reading and writing skills. In other words, such children belong to the risk group and can face a problem of academic failure. The education program comprises not only working with textbooks, New technologies are also being implemented. For example, a special multimedia complex develops in children analytical and logical skills, as well as memory, movements and associative thinking. It combines some work in the computer, playing with toys, blocks, puzzles, command jobs and so on. All basic units included into this program correspond to children's development beginning from self-recognition and body recognition. It also develops knowledge about family, the surrounding world, nature, as well as competence in the field of mathematics, native language and so on. This is a very efficient program. Trilingual education is one of the priority tasks in Kazakhstan. In the center, this issue is also given special attention. Children are taught English while playing and in accordance with recommendations of leading world specialists. At the same time, emphasis is laid on the development of oral speech. The teaching method itself is different. Common desks and quadrature put pressure on pupils. 
Besides writing, which is an integral part of the educative process, children are allowed to stand up and approach to anything they're interested in. They make dialogues and complete individual tasks. They are also encouraged to describe pictures as well as what they do, what they see or what they would like to see. In such a way we stimulate and entertain them. In Kazakhstan there are many more educational institutions like this, all they have different price policies. Everything depends on intensiveness of training courses and teachers' professionalism. The market also dictates price terms. Рынка, так сказать, да, от наших других центров, да, какую, какая цена у них, то есть мы стараемся, конечно, учитывать и... This depends on the market and other factors. We also try to take into account parents' solvency and set reasonable prices. We also spend a lot of money on textbooks and expensive equipment. Not everyone can afford spending so much money. Therefore, we assume these extra costs. In Kazakhstan, the average price of classes in preschool children's centers vary between 8.5 and 30,000 tenge per month. As a rule, this amount includes reading, grammar, mathematics, writing and learning languages. Classes last from 1 to 2 hours per day, from 2 to 5 times a week. While future children are grinding away at their studies, parents are making lists necessary for sending their children to school. It is worthy of note that for first-year pupils it will be exhaustive. The list includes school uniform, footwear, a pencil box, copy books, a drawing book, pens, erasers and so on. The cost of all these things is almost 20,000 tenge, and about 15,000 tenge will be necessary for a school backpack. Specialists recommend to pay special attention to this issue. A backpack for primary school children should not weigh more than one kilogram. What is ergonomic? This is a stitched, hard and ergonomic back. A backpack for primary school children has a certain shape because we know that children before 12 years old grow very rapidly and it is very important that their backpacks would support them. Last year, the regulations for mandatory school uniform were approved in Kazakhstan. It should be made in a classic style, in a single color range and without any bright colors. The uniform is classified into service, sports and ceremonial. It should meet the following requirements. Be comfortable and be hygroscopic. This is because children spend a lot of time at school. There are many kinds of physical activities. Children run and jump during breaks. Therefore, fabrics should be hygroscopic. This is achieved through fabric composition. It should contain 65% of natural fiber, cotton or viscose. This also excludes electrification and creasing of fabrics. Domestically produced clothes are usually cheaper than, for example, from Europe. In addition, domestic manufacturers make uniforms in accordance with existing requirements. Still, despite the fact that many parents spend a pretty penny on preparing their kids for school, such expenses are always lower than the cost of everyday wear, experts say. Therefore, financial benefit is one of the advantages of school uniform. In addition, there are also educative and social aspects. Experts think that wearing a uniform instills in children the sense of a business style. As a result, they become more temperate and do not judge other children by their clothes while making friends. We were the first who proposed to introduce school uniform. Afterwards, we developed about 50 models of school uniform, taking into account style and fashion requirements. This is especially the case for senior pupils who do not like school uniform and consider it dull. 
In order not to make our uniform dull, we try to be abreast of times. Annually, we update our range of clothes. Therefore, 20 to 30 percent of our models are new. We manufacture all parts of school uniform, including blouses, jackets, trousers, dresses, shirts and skirts. Cutting costs and preparing a child for school is quite possible. First of all, it is recommended to visit school fairs opened by some shops in the middle of summer. School stationery, on the contrary, is better to buy in September. As a rule, many supermarkets offer discounts for school items soon after the beginning of studies. It is advisable to avoid buying sets and boxes, because often we pay only for the attractive package. At the same time, experts do not recommend to save money on certain certain things, for example, copybooks. Cheap copybooks are usually made of low-quality thin paper, which can show through and therefore distract a child from making exercises. I think that we should not save our money on the quality of fabrics, because they ensure school children's comfort. There are many diseases caused by bad ecology. First of all, this is allergy. Children perspire in synthetic clothes. In turn, this affects their skin. Because of that, we should not save money on the quality of fabrics. Instead of that, we can cut costs buying last year models and buy, for example, a blouse, woven jacket, roll neck sweater and one special occasion blouse. Another way to cut costs is to avoid buying things which do not correspond to your child's age. For instance, first-year pupils do not need a calculating machine or compass. It is advisable to buy school stationery, buy wholesale and in internet shops. And the most important thing is to make a list of items you need. Even nowadays, the world market of school items, in particular stationary clothes and footwear, is estimated at more than $400 billion. For example, according to the calculations of the US National Retail Federation, school expenses in the United States make up about $700. The most part is spent on clothes and footwear. Moreover, new academic standards dictate new rules and oblige almost all the children to have various gadgets, which should all also be acquired by parents. There is no single date of the beginning of school year. Thus, in serious countries, children go to school in the beginning of September. In some European countries, a school year starts in October or in August, while children in Asia begin to study in March or in May. Therefore, school uniform manufacturers are also working non-stop. Most of school items are produced in Asia. 85% of school stationery and other goods are imported from this region. For instance, 6 of 10 school backpacks sold in different parts of the world were made in China. Notably that such goods are manufactured not only by domestic firms, but also by American and European factories located in the territory of the country. We have been working with Stabia for many years. This is a German company which manufactures goods for school children. Thus, it sells incredible pens and pencils called left and right. They have special grooves which facilitate the writing process for right and left-handed children. New technologies and innovative teaching methods make parents spend more money on preparation their children for school. Thus, many education institutions abolished paper daybooks and textbooks, replacing them by electronic ones. There are several more innovations which can dramatically change the global education system. For example, if a child falls ill and is unable to visit school, he or she can be replaced by a robot which can transmit online all necessary information to the real pupil. Another innovation is a 3D printer for children. The device can easily print all necessary models studied, for instance, during labor training lessons. And one more innovation is a pen which transforms a handwriting into a printed text. In a Californian training center, children are taught creative thinking, operating personal blogs, creating applications and constructing playhouses by means of 3D modeling. 
pupils are given an opportunity to create their own working space, desks, and even attics. Their working day starts from the review of their timetable made by a special iPad application. This program also monitors the learning process, attendance, and marks of pupils. Pupils at the center are children aged between 4 and 14. The tuition fee is $20,000 per year.